And so you can do the absorption question question, right? And with songs, absorption question, a song like, ah, oh, this what what is this? It sounds like something you never did before. But it is basically manufacturing accounts, right? So absorption costing is just a method of, of aligning or assigning all costs to the production of a good or service. So that'll be all your direct costs and all your indirect costs, which is what you do in a manufacturing account, right? Manufacturing accounts is calculating your um total production costs, which is your total direct costs or your variable costs, and your total indirect costs or your factory overhead, right? It's just a different method to do it. All right, so you'll make, you'll make up your direct materials, your direct labor, and then your manufacturing overheads, which will be fixed manufacturing overheads and variable manufacturing overheads. All right, so you take a look at it in a little more detail by doing this question. It says, Ellis Lee is the owner of the wedding cake maker. She uses absorption costing to price her products. LSE has provided the following information on costs. A1, place a check mark in the relevant column of the table to indicate whether the cost, whether the cost items are direct or indirect production costs. So direct costs are costs that vary based on the amount of goods you produce, right? Or the indirect costs do not vary based on that, right? So for example, um, if I'm making cake, like in this example here, and I'm using $10 in icing for each cake. So one cake cost me $10 in icing, three cakes will cost me $30 in icing, five cakes will cost me $50 in icing, and so forth. So icing will be a variable cost or a direct cost. Indirect um, of of, of fixed costs now, or indirect costs, will not vary directly based on the amount of goods you produce. So for example, rent. If I rent a room for $3,000, it doesn't matter how much cake I make, my rent will be $3,000. The same way, same thing with the salary. A salary is a fixed payment. It doesn't vary based on the amount of work you do. The only thing that varies would be your wages, but they didn't say wages, they said salaries. Salaries are paid monthly or fortnightly. It doesn't matter how much work you do. And then machine depreciation. Whatever depreciation rate you choose for the machine, that's not going to change no matter how much work you do, right? So those three would be considered indirect costs. The one would be considered a direct cost would be the raw materials because the raw materials will vary based on the amount of cakes you're producing. So if I customize three cakes, I'll use a certain amount of raw materials. If I customize 10 cakes, I'll need to use more raw materials. And that is how it will keep going, right? So you understand the difference between direct and indirect so far? Yeah. All right. Then the following details are available about indirect costs for the decorations department. So they give us the two indirect costs for the decorations department, allocated costs and apportioned costs. And they ask us the simple question to calculate the total indirect costs. Both of them are indirect overheads, right? So we get our total indirect overheads would be to add the two of them together. Simple as that, right? 17,000 plus 3,000 will give us our total indirect overheads. So far, so good? Yep. Yeah. Right. Then they said the following details are available about the production hours spent for labor and machinery in the decoration department cost center. They said 400 hours we spent um, with the machine and 100, hour spent, 100 hours spent um, using direct labor. 
and the asked state, which is the dominant factor in the decorations department. So the dominant factor is the most important element of the production um, process. Right? It is the most important element in the production process. It is normally considered to be the one that is used the most. So in this case, machine hours is 400 hours, whereas direct labor hours is 100 hours. Based on that alone, we know that the dominant factor is the machine hours. So far, so good? Yeah. So if we ever ask you, yeah, what is the dominant factor? You're going to look at the one that is used the most. All right? Then here they ask us, using the information from A2 on page 10 and B1, calculate the absorption rate by applying overhead costs in the de decorations department. So the absorption rate absorption rate the formula for it is your total overheads divided by your dominant factor a total hours of dominant factor. So my total my total overhead cost is twenty thousand, and my dominant factor is four hundred hours. So twenty thousand divided by four hundred hours is equal to fifty dollars. This means for every um every time we're producing goods, for every hour of machine hours, we we incur. $50 cost. Every time you use a machine hour, it costs us $50. So if you use 400 machine hours, it will cost us 400 by 50. Which is how we got the 20,000 in the first place. So now that we know, for each machine hour we use, it cost us $50. We could do this question. They said use the absorption rate calculated in B2 on page 11 to work out the indirect overheads cost for this order. So this order had two direct costs, direct material costs and direct labor costs. They didn't give us the indirect costs, but they told us machine hours spent was 20 hours. If the machine hours spent were 20 hours, that means the indirect cost will be 20 hours multiplied by the absorption rate that we calculated earlier. Remember, we calculated that for every hour of machine hours, it costs us $50, right? $50 per machine hour? Yeah. So if we spend 20 hours, that would cost us 50 by 20, which is how we got the 1,000 here. So, so far, the things you have to remember is the difference between direct and indirect. Direct costs vary based on the amount of goods you produce. The more you produce, the higher your cost. The less you produce, the less, the less your cost. Indirect cost does not vary based on the amount of goods you produce. So, sometimes you might produce more or less. The indirect cost may not even change. You have to remember a dominant factor is the uh, most important factor in the production process. So it will be the one that is used the most. 
So in this case, machine hours is 400, labor hours is 100. So your dominant factor will be your machine hours. And then the absorption rate, the formula, is the total overheads divided by the total hours of the dominant factor. So in this case, 20,000 divided by 400. Those three things you have to remember, right? And when you calculate the absorption rate, that's the, that's the cost for every hour of your dominant factor. So now that we know this, we were able to calculate this because you know that every hour of this 20 hours here costs us $50. So our total indirect cost would be 20 by 50, which is $1,000. And then they said in the space provided below, calculate the total production cost. We have our direct materials total cost, which we have from here, because they said the job costs 450 in direct materials. It also costs 1,250 in direct labor. And then it cost us 20 by 50, a thousand dollars in machine in indirect overhead costs. So we just add the three together. And that will give us our total production cost. Our total production cost will be our direct cost plus our indirect cost. And then they ask us about markup. Okay, so there's two things they could give you. They could bring for these. They could bring markup and it could bring margin. Both of them are different ways in how persons set their price. Markup is a percentage added to cost, and margin is a percentage added to, um, to calculate the amount of profit you want to use, you want to um, gain. So let's look at markup here, because that's what it asks for it. To calculate your price using markup, you will take your course and you'll add what percent, whatever percentage markup you want, to, you want to earn. So in this case, you want to earn 50% markup. You'll take the course, the total course, which is what we calculated to be 2700, and you'll add the 50% to it. So I calculated 50% of 2700 to be 1350, and I add the two of them together, and that gave me the course. Another way to do it is taking the selling price and multiplying it by 1 plus whatever the markup is. So 50% is also 0.5. So it's the cost multiplied by 1.5, and you'll get the same answer. So it's whichever one um, easier for you. For me, the first one easier, but it's whichever one easier for you. And I think that was the end of the question, or they ask one more thing. They said, Issa, the head cake maker, is given, a, given the job of making the customized wedding cake. They said, it is the company's policy to pay the workers using the piece rate system. Let's so the piece rate system means you're paying them um, based on the amount of goods produced. So the more goods they produce, the more money they get. The less goods produced, the less money they get. So the actual advantage of using the piece rate system, it kind of improves productivity. Because think of it like this, right? If you pay me per hour, I could be skylocking for that hour and get the same amount of money. But if you pay me per item produced, then I have to produce goods in order to get paid. So the cost is tied even closer to the amount of goods produced. That makes sense? Yeah. You think if you get a question like this, you might be able to try something? Yeah. Just remember, the difference between direct course and indirect course.
remember your dominant factor is the one you have the most in the uh, the most amount of input in this case is machine hours absorption rate is total overhead divided by total hours of your what um, mm -hmm. Who's the hours of dominant of dominant factor right and what you have your absorption rate that will give you the, the cost per um hour of a dominant factor, right? So if we use 10 hours a dominant factor, you'll take your absorption rate multiplied by 10 to get total cost. In this case, we had 20 hours of the dominant factor. So you'll take your absorption rate multiplied by 20 to get your total cost. Or your total indirect cost. And your total cost of production is your um direct cost plus your indirect cost. Just remember those things, and it should be okay for an absorption question question. All right. Yeah. 